doing panning shots of driving cars looks much more uh, easy than it is. So I will try this here in New York City at the intersection of 23rd Street and 7th Avenue. And um, what would I choose different and otherwise than a um, yellow cab? So let's see what I come up with. And I don't stop before I have a decent, at least one killer shot of a yellow cab driving south. Let's see. Okay guys, in the meantime I have posted the winner of my yellow cap panning shots on my blog and now I want to sh uh, show you the losers. Of course the winner also in this video at the, very, at the very end of this portion of the video I first want to discuss why the losers are losers. So here we have the first, very first try and this was an image what at first suited me when I saw it on a small screen but I didn't find and still don't find any sharp area here so it was uh, but I found that I was on the right way to do so as this was the first time ever I did this kind of shot so here I used the shutter speed of 1 15th of a second all the images are shot at f22 with an ISO of 100 as we had a very bright and sunny day so this was you, uh, loser number one. Loser number two, this guy, the only sharp section here was the word fashion or quite sharp here on this advertisement on the, on the roof of the car. Didn't make it the winner as well. Next loser was this one. Not really a sharp area anywhere. So I shot this already at 1 30th of a second. Then we come to the next one, also shot by 1 30th of a second. Only sharp area in this case after a Lightroom is finished with loading. Quite, quite sharp or at least uh, straight uh, lines here are in the bumper area. Not a winner. And even though it was a, a sharper there is the problem with this merger in the background it really doesn't look good with another yellow cap right beside it next loser would be this one and you probably yeah you could say here is an, again a sharp uh, area here but doesn't make it a winner either. So we go to the winner of this few shots and this was this one. I shot it at 140 as a second. The merger in the background this time is the yellow van. What really doesn't bother me as it's in the Boca and it is uh, blurred out through the uh, moving of the camera. I want to talk about this after this portion of the video so that I explain how to shoot these images. The fact that we have here more clarity and more sharpness in the front of the car and you can read the crispy number plate here. This makes this the winner out of these images. Was taken by one fourth of a second. So now we go to a short explanation how to take these shots. See you in a second. Okay, let's dive into the explanation how to do these panning shots. First off, you have to go into manual. You want to control your shutter speed. The shutter speed you want to have as slow as possible. And this doesn't mean as possible in the way that it can go, but as possible in the way that you can handle it to get the object, in this case the yellow cap, as sharp as possible whilst following them. You have to go into manual mode, no way ar around it. Uh, the reason for this is if you go into aperture priority, the camera will deliver a shutter speed what will 
just not fit. If the shutter speed is too fast, it will make everything sharp. So you just go, don't get this panning effect that you want to have. And on the other hand, if you take a shutter speed priority, the camera probably will come up with an aperture that you just don't like or what makes too much of the image not as sharp as you want it. So I went into a put in manual prior in manual mode, set the shutter speed at first to one fifteenth of a second and this is was a little bit too slow for me. If you get it with with a fifteenth of a second then thumbs up for you quite didn't work for me I tried it a lot of times never get this effing cap sharp enough so as you could see my winner was shot at 1 of a, of a second and it was a pretty good result so still not that slow shutter speed but you still got this nice panning effect of the car movement and still got a portion of the car sharp and another thing or at least uh, uh, better said how you do this is just like aiming gun I took the very center point uh, of the focus point the camera got I set the focus mode into continuous it would be continuous on a Nikon of course it is um, AI servo uh, with a Canon camera and then I followed the portion of the car that I really wanted to have in focus so what I did was looking through the camera and you see and you probably will laugh now because the lens cap is on that camera but it's just for the purpose of explaining so I went through I looked through the viewfinder waited just as uh, like you do in a bird show or something like that and I was going to following with the finger on the shutter half pressed so that the autofocus is working all the way that I got shot bang and still finished my movement so it was not following bang finish no you finish your movement just like you probably learned when you f for the first time shoot a gun just finish your movement so this was how I took these shots if you have any comments on this please leave a uh, leave it right below this video or my blog or my Facebook page if you like what I just created please share it with your friends subscribe to my Facebook page to my blog to my YouTube channel thanks for watching until next time see you very soon